Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are back in Steve's office again. So I did a bit of a home update in the last video. I will link that here in case you haven't seen it. But now that I'm back from holiday, we are gonna try and crack on and get this room done. I already look a little bit crusty today because I've been sanding down the walls in here. So before I went away, I plastered the ceiling. I don't think you can see it. Um, I plastered the ceiling it it's not perfect i think it's okay for my first attempt um i have given a couple of bits of it like a little sand down because i just want to make sure it was smooth um still undecided whether i will be plastering other ceilings in the house because it is hard work i'm glad that i gave it a go just to see like if i could do it or not we're gonna see though so plan for this video we're gonna um, do a first coat on the ceiling. Hold up, let me go get the paint that I'm gonna use. <laughs> also, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. This room's been a state for like weeks now, so the boys know. Rocky's well behaved, he knows that he's not allowed to come in here. Milo is not as well behaved, so that's why they're like lurking in the doorway. Anyway, I picked up this paint. This is the Dulux Trade Super Matte. Um, it had really good reviews online. Am I gonna be too low if I nail down? Um, it's high opacity, ideal for new plaster. Had really good reviews. And it wasn't very expensive either. So it tells you on the back what ratio you're meant to do. So you want to do for new plaster to seal it. Um, you have to do if anyone doesn't know with new plaster you have to do like water down coats first because the plaster just sucks up all the stuff i don't know that's my very like basic knowledge of it um so i need to do one coat which is one part water three parts paint and then do two coats of one part water five parts paint and then after that i can just paint it like normal so um i'm gonna obviously prime the bare plaster on the ceiling with my watered down paint and then in case you haven't seen any of the other videos we have actually if i shared this with you guys anyway we've decided to do not half height but like a i don't know two thirds three quarter height paint around the room is, is there a paint sample yeah this is the paint that we've gone for which is a valspar color match to a coat paint which i can't remember the name of i'll tell you guys later anyway oh uh, david rose because it's from like shit's creek i think um yeah so it's kind of matched to that so for the top half of the room we're gonna do the primer so we have this like primer that we used previously which is really good because the walls as you can see aren't in the best condition so we're gonna do a primer then we'll just go over with some white paint and then obviously mark out where we want the lower half to be do that there's a lot to be done in this room we actually just take up these skirting boards half the skirting board is gone half is still remaining so we obviously need to get that up before we do the lower part but i'm just going to crack on with the ceiling there is so much to do in here i just want to get started with it so i'm going to wash out my paint and i will show you the ceiling let's go with you i'm getting high in the sunrise with you Getting through all the bad times with you I wasn't missing a thing, no I do And I wish that I could do this time Cause time moves on And now you're gone Oh, if only I could do this time you I can't forget you I miss you I miss you I miss you all the time I wish that I wish that I wish that you were mine I miss you I miss you I miss you all the time
Okay, so it is the next day. I did try, sorry, it's so echoey as well. Um, I did film some bits. I'm not sure how much I managed to film because my camera ran out of battery, you know, all of that jazz. But yesterday we did one coat on the ceiling. That paint that I showed you guys yesterday is so, so good. It's so like full coverage. We also did a coat of the primer on the walls. I think I said this yesterday, but we're only doing the top half because we're gonna paint the bottom half a darker color anyway. That's just one coat of primer on the walls. Like the coverage is so, so good. Um, let me show you the primer because I think I used it in our bedroom video. Acrylic primer undercoat. This is by Leyland. Not that you can tell because of the paint, but it is a really, really good um, primer if you have weird walls like us. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you're not allowed in here. Um, but yeah, so we are going to do second coat of um paint on the ceiling which is another watered down coat but it just doesn't need to be as watered down as yesterday and i think we're just going to go straight in with another white like just paint white on the walls and i'm hoping we'll have enough time that this afternoon we can at least do one coat of the kind of dark paint on the bottom but we'll have to see how quickly it dries um so yeah i'm probably not going to film us painting this bit because it's not that interesting i'm going to check back in with you guys once we film like painting the kind of darker color because that's way more interesting also little side note we are decorating this but there is going to be some touch-up work that we'll need to do later on but i just kind of want to get majority of it done obviously the radiator is being changed um and you see this weird little light switch situation that is being moved so we'll need to like touch up areas like that and also things like we're not being particularly delicate around the windows because those are going to be removed and replaced at some point as well so yeah i will check back in with you guys in a bit in the night sky with you I'm getting high in the sunrise with you I'm getting through all the bad times with you I wasn't missing a thing, no, I do And I wish that I could do this and receive Cause I moved on And now you're gone Oh, if only I could do this and receive I'd come and get you I can't forget you Okay, so it's the next day and the paint is all done, kind of. So this time when I did, I've done like this half height kind of paint before. I think I've done this 125 centimeters up because um, I wanted it kind of in between those two like window ledges, if that makes sense. 
Normally I would go around mark with a kind of pencil and draw the line and then tape it. This time I used my laser level, which actually was so, so much better. It was much quicker to tape it up. The massive mistake that I did was just using some bog standard tape that I just had. I couldn't be bothered to go to B&Q and get frog tape and it's kind of kicked me in the ass there. So, oh, so echoey in here. For doing this kind of stuff, honestly, like pay the extra money and get the frog tape because this tape has left such a bad line. Can you see? I'm gonna have to spend so much time touching this up now. It also ripped lots of paint off the wall as well. It was completely rubbish. So yeah, I'm kind of kicking myself that I just didn't get the frog tape. I thought, I actually thought I had some and I didn't realize, but anyway. Use the frog tape, the green one is the one that I usually use. Um, so Steve has finished ripping off all the skirting in here. He did that for painting. Now you'll probably notice that obviously there are a couple of things that haven't been done properly. One of them being the paint around the radiator. That's because I think I already said this, that is actually getting changed on Thursday. So in a few days time. Um, also this wiring, we haven't even removed the wallpaper kind of behind there because the electrician is coming to sort that. I'm not sure if he's gonna, I'm gonna ask him. He's either gonna chase it down in the wall, which means we'll have to touch up the paint. Um, or I might just ask him to put another double next to that double because it might just be a little bit easier and less kind of patching work to do. So that is where we are with this room so far. Absolutely in love with the color. It's like I said, a Valspar color match of Coat David Rose. Um, it like, it's not black. It's like a really, really nice, like dark, slightly bluey black. Um, hopefully you guys can take, like pick that up on camera. It does need a couple of little touch ups in certain places that I missed because the lighting wasn't great. But since we're gonna have to touch it up anyway, I thought, look, I'm just gonna save that for another day. So, like I said, radiator, electrics being done this week in the next couple of days. After that, we will be putting on the skirting board. I've got brand new skirting board to go on in this room. And then we will be attempting to lay the carpet. Attempting being the key word. I'm gonna sign this video off here, but thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, we've got loads more happening at the moment, so I'm just trying to keep up with the videos and keep you guys as updated as possible. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one.